Welcome back to Smoke Barbecue Source. I'm Ricer and today I'm doing the review on the Camp Chef Apex. In my opinion, Camp Chef has always been one of the leaders of innovation that they've added to their pits. But let's find out and see if this innovation is really worth the price tag that you're gonna pay. You can get the Camp Chef without the gas insert and without the sidekick griddle. If you get the whole complete package on the Apex, you will have a couple extra parts. I don't know, maybe you can sell them on eBay. In the future, that would be something that Camp Chef could kind of redesign their packaging. But when I talk about the packaging, it was packaged great. I helped the boys out with this pit assembly, seeing that the Apex is a pellet and gas grill combination. It isn't hard, there's just a lot of things to assemble. It took us right around two hours to get it completely put together, but most of the assembly time was spent on the gas insert. You will need to remove a couple knockouts in the front to get the igniters in and make sure that they're facing towards the actual gas burner. My boys commented several times how cool it is that they actually label each little part bag for the step that you're gonna be doing. It just makes it a lot easier to be able to follow along on the assembly by grabbing the parts and the screw bag that you need. And also, it helps if you have somebody that can give you a lending hand. After you've got it all assembled up, the first thing that you need to do is what they call the burn in, but I call the burn off. I wanna burn off all the junk and the debris from the manufacturer manufacturing process. And that's pretty simple. You just fill up the hopper and then turn on that controller and set it at feed. I really like this feature because I don't have to sit and hold a button to prime it. Once that cycle is finished up, open up your ash release and let all of those pellets fall into that little ash cup. Close it back up, set your temperature at 350 degrees and confirm to fire it up. Once the pit has gone through the startup cycle, close up that lid and let it preheat to 350 degrees. Once you've reached that temperature, set a timer for 30 minutes and just let let this pit sit and burn. Seeing that I have the sidekick griddle, I figured it was a perfect time to season it up. I just grabbed some flaxseed oil, coated it up, and then once it burnt off, repeated the process a couple more times. When my 30 minute timer went off, I started that 20 minute shutdown cycle. This gave me plenty of time to let that flaxseed oil burn into that griddle. After it was all cooled down, it was time to check out the gas operation by igniting the burners. I did have to adjust a couple of the burners but that's pretty simple. Just loosen up the screws and adjust it. You want that igniter to be kind of right in between the double hole. Now I'm not sure if it's really gonna show up on the camera or not, but there is two small little holes and that's where I was trying to get the igniter in between. This is something that I would suggest that you do right away when you're doing the assembly. Just test it out and see that each burner works. I also did a mini burn off with the gas option. I just lit them all up, put them on high, and let them run for about 15 minutes. Then it was time to set up the Wi-Fi, and that went pretty smooth, but I do have a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network in my studio. If you do not have one, you're gonna need one to be able to connect to this pit. For all of you that have been following me for a while, know that I'm not a really big into the apps, but they are nice. They're a good, nice little creature comfort that are coming along with these pellet grills now. I will say that Cam Chefs works pretty dang good. I like that you can adjust the smoke mode on the fly on this pit. So if you start out high and you want to back it back down a little later, you just do it right on your app. Ah, time to crank it up a little bit. Let's go up to six or something, whatever. And it also has the feature where you can adjust the probes to give you an alert when you're reaching your doneness temp. Let's do a little walk around review on this Jack of All Trades Camp Chef Apex. And I actually named mine Do All because this pit it really can do all. First thing that I need to talk about is this down and out ventilation. This pit certainly smokes enough, but it can be a little deceiving because the way the smoke exits the pit. The chamber, it is double walled. The lid, it has a gasket. Underneath the burners, you will see that you have an ash and grease catch along with your heat deflector. But as the pellet burns, the smoke exits along each side and then back down and exits through the vents. 
One thing I did notice when I was grilling up some burgers, I did have a little bit of grease dripping outside on the bottom shelf. Now honestly, that's the only issue that I've had with this pit so far, and I've cooked a tremendous amount of food on the Apex. I was finally able to be able to put this pit together about three weeks before the holidays. We have a total of 811 square inches of cooking space in the Apex Hybrid. On the bottom shelf, we have 429 square inches. And if you take both of these grates and put them together, you have 382 square inches on the top shelf. One thing I wanna add with the Sidekick, this pit is pretty heavy, it's 295 pounds. The Apex has a 30 pound hopper, which means you'll easily be able to do an overnight cook using this pit. And towards the bottom, it also has a pellet sensor. So if you start running low, well, it's gonna warn you, you better add some pellets. And I really never seen any type of log jams or piling from the pellets in this hopper. Bonus, you got a bottle opener, and if you pull out this handle, you can dump out your pellets. Just get a bucket underneath it, just pull out this little lever, and let them dump. Sometimes it's good to get a little hook, and I like that the holes are big enough, and you can just help out those pellets and push them out. Of course, he's gotta go back in here. And on the back of the hopper, you have a nice little place to wrap up your cord but it also just unplugs so you can store it wherever you want. One thing that's different than a lot of the other camp chefs is that your grease port is on the back and that's where you hang your pail. The bracket that holds the LP tank, it's pretty heavy duty. That ain't going anywhere. Inside this little cover, which is nice to keep the rain off it or anything like that, is your Wi-Fi controller. Turn the power on. I didn't think I'd ever say this in my life, but I really like how these LCD screens on the new Camp Chef pits look. Here's the dial for this one. You can go through your different settings. I also like that it has a fan mode. That's a great little feature to smoke up, let's say some cheese. Just grab a smoke tube, fill it up, and turn on that fan. You can also turn on that fan when you're just using the gas option. With this controller, you have four probe ports and Camp Chef sends you four probes. They're actually one of the only companies out there that have a four probe controller and they're actually sending you all four probes. You even have a nice little place to store your probes. So good job, Camp Chef. You have a little switch here so you can turn on a light inside the chamber. I think this is the only Camp Chef model that offers this option. One thing that means a lot to me, and I'm sure for all of you people that actually store your pit after each cook, the Apex comes with four locking and also rotating casters. So moving this pit around is a breeze. It's just a one-handed deal. Grab it, move it wherever you want to. And they're big casters, so they roll around the surface really smooth. Your ash cleanout is right here. Pull up this little catch, pull out that handle. Now it's dumped into that little ash cup. Shove her back in, take off the cup, and there we've got some ash. After you dumped it out, just hang it back on. As far as cleanup, it's pretty much the same as any other pellet grill. The biggest difference is that the grease catch slash heat deflector has to be removed from a drop down cover in front of the pit. Now you can get to the inside of that cooking chamber and vacuum it out. On the 24 inch model, you have four gas burners. On the 36, well, you got six. One thing I wanna add, I do like the handle on the Apex's lid. It's a nice, beefy, sturdy handle. I know it's just a handle lid, but that's one thing that I noticed right away when we unpacked it and start putting it together. Now we get to one feature that I really like, and I couldn't see myself ever owning a Cam Chef without it. That's the Sidekick. On the Apex, it does look a little different than the other models, but you can get a couple different accessories for it. You can get what they call the sear box. And I was pretty impressed the way this thing worked when I seared up a prime rib. And another option, you can get the pizza oven. But for our family, the option that I like the most is the griddle. It worked great when I cooked up some bacon, when I smoked and then grilled up some bacon cheeseburgers. That's one of the cool options with this hybrid is you can smoke a little bit and then add some char right inside the chamber. Who is the Camp Chef Apex made for? Well, it's a very versatile pit. You can do multiple things in one unit. So for the people that don't have a lot of space, 
place and they want to be able to smoke and grill and even have a small little griddle, it's perfect. It's also great for the person that's used to the convenience of a gas grill, but they kind of want to start smoking maybe some ribs or a pork butt. But the next day they want to have surf and turf, so they're going to smoke up a prime rib and grill up some crab legs. And this pit is also great for a family. You want to be able to smoke up a pork loin and then make your glaze right on the same pit? The Apex has you covered. Maybe you want to grill up some asparagus and be in the same spot so you don't overcook your salmon. Or just add a little smoky flavor to a skirt steak that you're going to slice up for tacos. To be able to do all that on one pit, it is going to come with a cost. And this pit today is at $2,199. So it's not a cheap pit. But it's not cheaply built. It's solid. I'm very impressed with the amount of smoke that it does produce. Maybe some of you will just start out with the pellet grill option of this and then later down the road add the $500 gas kit. This pit could be a little too pricey so maybe you just go with the standard Woodwind or even the DLX and then go buy yourself a gas grill. But if you don't have the space, the Apex that's your pit. Most of you know that I do a lot of pellet grill reviews and the Apex is my 2022 pellet grill of the year. And it's because it's a hybrid combination. Camp Chef has always been very innovative throughout its history. And I'm pretty sure they were one of the first to come out with the ash cleanout system too. And I could add a little smoke flavor when I was grilling up those crab legs. And yes, you can run the pellet grill while you're cooking with gas. It's a great way to boost up some flavor to anything that you typically grill. There'll be links to pricing and a more in-depth review on the Camp Chef Apex 24 inch hybrid. Plus, you can leave us some feedback and let us know what you think of this pit. Now I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Knuckles!